Hello, YouTubers and Minecrafters alike. Here I'm going to show you a, uh, a counter using LRAM's Red Power mod. Uh, this one is not too hard to make. Um, this design was originally <coughs> taken from someone else. Um, I can't take credit for most of the work, but there are a few additions and changes that I have made to it. And don't pay attention to anything in the background here, like uh, these giant piston counters. I did not make those. I cannot take credit for them. Uh, this map was downloaded by, uh, well, downloaded from someone else in their uh, video description. And <clears throat> right now, what you're looking at, this is a um, light block display. Uh, basically, uh, this button uh, will count up, it will go to 1, it maxes out at 9, and once it does that, reset it to 0. So, I made a, um, well this originally had a uh, 4 switch input to it. The 4 switches represented both 1's and 0's. <coughs> Uh, depending on the pattern the ones and zeros were in, it would be either zero or any number up to nine. And these wires are a remnant from that, but I changed it so that I could just press a button and have it update. Instead of having to memorize the um, binary coded decimal that was required in order to uh, change the number because <coughs> that got a little tiresome. Now as you can see it's now reading 2 and up here if it were at 0 this first line would be deactivated and this torch would be active. <coughs> this is what translates the uh, binary coded decimal into a signal that can be understood by this circuit over here. Now, what what it what this is is it's a series of non-invert cells and invert cells. Whenever the signal changes to the uh, correct pattern of uh, invert cells that are in these rows, like right now it's at two, so just this blue wire is active. You can see the signal traveling up through all of these. Um, but in this row, there are no other invert cells. It's just non-invert, invert, and two non-inverts. So it matches the pattern, <coughs> and that deactivates the wire up top. This line of blocks inverts its signal so that just this torch is lit and that activates this signal over here and only the lines that are lit up have non-invert cells under them. The lines that are not lit up do not match the pattern. Um, they have uh, null cells so that these lines don't become active. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at the counting system that I made for this. This is something that I did add to this counter. I added both this counting system, which is two parts. This is the second part to it. It's quite large and obvious, uh, honestly is pretty badly designed. I'm sure somebody else could do it in much less space than what I did. But I I wanted to take a whack at making these vertical circuits, which in creative mode wasn't easy to do because the orientation these uh, cells take, well, any pretty much any red, integrated redstone circuit, is based on which direction you are looking when you place them. I can't use the screwdriver to change the direction of the integrated circuit or uh, cells, so that can be quite annoying. I do not recommend doing this on creative. 
I would say just get uh, the too many items mod and basically just uh, do it on survival. Uh, this counting circuit, it's a series of nine counters and the rest is a bunch of non-invert cells. The non-invert cells, as you can see, have kind of two inputs. It has an input that goes underneath this uh, top wire and the wire above that itself. The top wire is completely separate. So if I send a signal through this white cable, it goes over this top wire and does not affect any of these wires here that are connected to the bottom wire. That is pretty cool in itself. It's quite useful. Now these counters, each one counts up to a different number. Uh, this one only counts up to one. Its decrement is also one. The decrement cannot go under one. This one goes up to two. Its decrement is also two. So that any signal passed through this yellow cable automatically sets this back to zero. And the same applies for the rest of the counters in this circuit. Uh, this one is nine. Its decrement is also nine. So it only requires one signal to be reset back to zero. Otherwise, it would count backwards instead of resetting all at once, which you can do it either way you want. So now that this one has counted all the way up to one, and this one has counted all the way up to two, the two torches up top are lit, and this is receiving a signal. So let's go back here and see how this works. These two wires are sending a signal um, down here. Uh, these are a lot of non-invert cells. When they are not receiving a signal, the wire up top is lit. Um, if there is an invert cell in, this, in the uh, circuit, like there is here, um, see this, this has two invert cells. If it just had one invert cell, it would be this one that is not having a signal pass through the top of the cells. That would be at one. These have no invert cells. So no amount of uh, wires being on is going to change the top wire to be off. Only when all these inputs are off does this change to off. And then it sends, sends a signal through this torch, which the signal inverts, and it goes to this pink cable. But here, there are two invert cells in the row of non-invert cells. It matches the pattern, uh, well, it matches the uh, number of inputs that are coming down, and it tells this one to turn off, which activates this torch and sends a signal through this white cable. Now, as you can see, um, as you get further down this uh, circuit, there are more uh, invert cells in each row. This one has three invert cells. So if I go over here, I press the button, it counts up to three. Now you can see that there are three counters sending a signal through three cables. And now the signal has changed. Instead of going through this white wire, a signal is being passed to this magenta wire. Because there are three invert cells, it matches the amount of inputs. And down here is where there are nothing but invert cells. So once it gets up to nine inputs, this cell, this uh, row of cells will be activated which will send a signal through this redstone torch and through this black wire. And right now it's getting to be a little dark so I'll change the time. Okay, now that we know how this one works, 